Yeah, let us discuss about the lab activity. The focal length of a lens depends upon the surrounding medium. The aim of the lab activity is to show the focal length of a lens depends on its surrounding medium. Materials required. Apparatus required. Cylindrical glass vessel. Table. A convex lens of known focal length in air. Circular lens holder. Scale and black stone. Cylindrical vessel. Table. A convex lens of known focal length in air. Circular lens holder, scale and black stone. These are the materials required to perform the lab activity to find the focal length of a lens depends on its surrounding medium. Now, take a cylindrical glass vessel take one table a convex lens focal length up to 10 cm A lens holder, you can see the apparatus, a circular lens holder, a scale, black stone, these are the set of apparatus required to perform the experiment, lab activity. Procedure Place the glass vessel on the table Place the glass vessel on the table Put the lens in the lens holder Put the lens in the lens holder, convex lens of known focal length 10 cm should be placed in the lens holder. Put the black stone in the vessel. Put the black stone at the bottom of the vessel. Points to remember the focal length of the lens taken here is 10 cm when it is in the air. So, when the object is at 10 cm or beyond 10 cm, the lens will not form the virtual image. Hence, the Observer cannot see the black stone kept in the vessel. In order to see the virtual image of the stone, the distance between the lens and the stone should be less than the focal length, that is 10 cm, less than 10 cm. In the following case, I kept the distance between the lens and the stone as 15 cm in air. Hence, the stone is not visible to the observer.
that means the distance between the stone and the lens circular lens should be less than or equal to 10 cm then we can see the stone if it is more than 10 cm virtual image of the stone cannot be visible if you want to see the black stone virtual image of the black stone it should be within the focus of the convex lens or less than the focal length of the convex lens so we can get a virtual image hence the observer cannot see the black stone when it is kept beyond 10 cm beyond 10 cm the stone is not visible but when it is within the focus of the focal length of the lens that is sixth condition a virtual erect magnified image of the stone is observed when it is between the pole of the lens and the focus if the lens is held at a distance of 15 cm in air the stone is not visible to the observer so the stone should be within the focus of the lens sixth condition a virtual erect magnified image is formed these are the points to remember You can note down. Those who wants to write the notes, they can note down these points. Now, see the experiment. The focal length of the lens is 10 cm. That means in air, the focal length of the lens is 10 cm. Put the black stone at the bottom of the beaker and insert horizontally the lens holder at a distance of 10 cm or less than 10 cm you can see on the scale it is the between the lens holder and the stone is 10 cm the distance between the stone and the lens is 15 cm if you place at a distance of 15 cm we can't see the image of the stone When it is less than 10 cm, we can see the image of the stone, stone, sixth condition. This experiment is done in the air. That means in the glass, we don't have taken any water. So without water, we are doing the experiment. That means to find the focal length of the lens, where the final image, virtual, erect image and magnified stone, big size. We can able to see when the lens holder is less than or equal to 10 cm.
now you can see that the observer looking perpendicularly through the lens holder through the convex lens the stone is not visible for the observer why because the lens is at a distance of 15 cm on the scale it is not equal to or less than the focal length of the lens so the observer cannot able to see the stone so the observer cannot see the image so the focal length of the lens is 10 cm you can see the glass tumbler and the black stone now if the focal length of the lens is 10 cm or less than 10 cm see the second case when we see from the top view the observer is looking from the top the distance between the lens and the stone is less than 10 cm let us take it as a 9 cm can we able to see the stone now yes the observer can see the stone the image of the stone that is the virtual image the virtual image of the stone is very clear for less than 10 cm or 9 cm we can see the image of the stone now you can see the observer is looking straight away perpendicular to the through the lens you can able to see the image of the stone very clearly it is because of the distance between the lens and the stone is less than 10 cm less than the focal length of the lens observer sees the magnified image now pour water now pour water into the vessel up to a height such that the height of the water level from the top of the stone is greater than the focal length of the lens water level should be nearly 3 times to that of the focal length so that means now pour water into the vessel up to a height such that the height of the water level from the top of the stone is greater than the focal length of the lens that is three times or four times to the focal length repeat the above experiment by keeping the distance more than 10 cm between the lens and the stone repeat the activity with 9 cm 10 cm 12 cm 14 cm 15 cm 16 cm 17 cm and distances hence the surrounding medium of the lens is water so when you observe the distances from the stone by increasing the length of the increasing the length that means raising the lens holder from 9 cm to 10 cm to 12 cm 
15, 16, 17 centimeters and observe the stone. Now the surrounding medium is water. Now fill the vessel with water and see that the focal length of the lens is always constant 10 cm. Fill the vessel at least the focal length of the lens should be multiplied 4 times so that the length of the beaker is 4 times than the focal length of the lens. Now dip the lens holder vertically down over the stone at a distance of 10 cm and observe observe the image of the stone is it visible for us yes it is visible or less than 10 cm say at least 9 cm it is visible and the distance between the stone and the lens is 10 cm the image of the stone is visible the image of the stone is visible You can see when the distance between the stone and the lens is less than 10 cm that is 9 cm on the scale you can see the image of the stone. In the distance between the lens and the stone is 12 cm. Let us take the greater than the focal length of the lens in air that is 12 cm now we are taking in water. Observer can see the image of the stone. If it is 12 centimeters, let us increase the distance between the length and distance between the lens and the stone is 14 centimeters. Now insert it up to a height of 14 centimeters. Can we see the stone now? Yeah, when it has been raised to a height of 14 centimeters. From the stone, the distance between the stone and the lens is 14 centimeters. Now if you see, the observer can see the image of the stone. That means we are raising the height of the vertical holder, lens holder to a distance of 14 centimeter. Even in this condition also, we can see the image of the stone. Now, if the distance between the lens and the stone is, let us say, 15 centimeters, it is increased from the stone, the observer can see the image of the stone very clearly. You can see on the scale, it is 15 centimeters. The distance between the stone and the lens is 15 centimeters. The observer can see the image of the stone. If the distance between the lens and the stone is 17 centimeters, now we have further increased. Observer could not see the stone. So in this condition, we can't see the stone. If the distance between the lens and the stone is exceeding, exceeding the surrounding medium focal length of the lens, then we can't see the stone. So up to 16 centimeters we can able to see the stone that is the limit point of the lens focal length now when you have taken the distance to 17 centimeters observer could not see the stone so this experiment shows that up to 16 centimeters 
it is raised from 10 cm 11 cm 12 cm 13 14 15 16 the observer can see the stone so from this activity we can understand that the focal length of the lens depends upon the surrounding medium so when water water is added we can see the table here 9 cm yes we can see the stone 10 cm the virtual image formed in air cannot be seen for 12 cm in air we can't see for 14 cm we can't see 15 16 17 also in the air without water we can't see the image of the stone but when the water is added from 9 cm 10 cm 12 14 15 16 we can able to see the stone but after 16 centimeters the distance is increased to 17 centimeters we can't able to see the stone so up to 16 centimeters the focal length is increased from 9 centimeters to 16 centimeters the focal length is increased and beyond that the lens has no capacity to increase the focal length beyond 16 centimeters so we can't see the image of the stone so this experiment proves that the focal length depends upon the surrounding medium